Across the Commonwealth, cities and towns have different rules for single-use plastic bags. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has new information tonight on a bill to streamline regulations. Time could be limited for single-use plastic bags across the Commonwealth if lawmakers have their way. Last week, the Joint Committee on Environment and Natural Resources heard testimony on bills that are looking to limit single-use plastic bags. So far, 156 towns across the Commonwealth have put in place some sort of plastic bag ban or limitation. One bill backed by Senator Becca Rausch and Representative Mindy Dom would keep retail stores from using single-use plastic bags, with exceptions when it comes to prescription medicine, perishable grocery items, or delicate clothing. The bill would also prohibit K-12 food service operations and cafeterias from using or selling single-use plastic bags. The bill would also allow retailers to provide recycled paper bags for a 10-cent fee that would be split between the retailer and the city or town. And for those who use EBT cards, those consumers would not have to pay the fee for the paper bag. Matt Perg believes this is the only way forward. Reduce is job one. Let's, let's reduce the use of single-use plastics. They're made from fossil fuels. We have alternatives. We know how to have a modern society without them. Let's go. Neither sponsor of the bill could say if they believe their bill would come to the floor in either chamber for a vote. There are currently over 40 bills that would limit the use of plastic bags in the Commonwealth. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.